modern day feminism, which is just a literal joke. Women have more rights than men do these days. Women have far more privilege than men do. And I have said that to a feminist face. As a man, you're born with quite literally nothing. You are born nothing. Hey, 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 welcome to I Am Pinky and I'm Not Ashamed, where I share my opinions on things I think about. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be talking about feminism. And the reason I'm going to be talking about feminism is I've come across a lot of different definitions being sprouted by... I'm going to say mostly men. Is feminism still relevant in society today? Feminism was kind of built, the movement itself was built in racism. White women were upset at the fact that black men got the privilege to vote before they did, and that's kind of what spearheaded the feminism movement. Statistically and historically, who have been left out of that movement, I mean, it's very much white women focused. Um, so women of color have kind of been left out of the conversation. I don't want to sit here and be canceled because I'm saying, no, I'm not a feminist. I'm saying that I don't believe in how the movement started. I do believe in what it brought to women in society, but I think that there is also, like everything in society, holes um, that leave other underrepresented groups out. According to Wikipedia, feminism is a range of socio-political movements and ideologies that aim to define and establish the political, economic, personal and social equality of the sexes. Plural, I just want to point that out. Feminism holds the position that societies prioritise the male point of view and that women are treated unjustly in these societies. As a woman, if you're attractive, and here's where basically all the feminists are non-attractive women who are like, yeah, but I don't get anything. It's like, well, yeah, okay, you also don't go to the gym ever. So as long as you're like even a moderately good looking woman, you will have a man take care of you. Now, I'm sure people men who are watching or will watch this later on will think well of course I'm going to say feminism is all about equality and that women haven't always been treated as equals and there are a lot of people out there saying that that is a lie. If men can't control themselves seeing women in skirts, who let them control whole countries? The truth is, in history, women weren't always treated equally, and they're definitely not even today treated equally in every society. In Australia, in 1902, we women got the right to vote. That's great. And that sounds like, oh, well, that was so long ago, and we've been equal ever since. But that's actually not quite right. Um... Back in the day, when women got married, they had to give up their jobs. They weren't able to enter a lot of workforces and um, they weren't even allowed to get their own credit card unless a male signed for them. I remember even myself, um, when I was younger, being with my husband, when I first met my husband, I remember any time I had to call the bank or call anyone about a bill, um, they would have to talk to my husband and get his okay over the phone. And many times I would get my stepson to just say yes on the phone because times they would just hear a male's voice and go, yep, okay, and do whatever I wanted. But it was my stepson. They, they didn't even have to know it was my husband, just as long as it wasn't a female voice on there, just as long as I heard a male's voice. So, yes, equality has not always happened. Equality has not always happened for women. Let women vote. I will not sit at the back of the bus. We want equal pay for women. Yo, we want abortions. Screw babies. You want to buy my nudes for 15 bucks on OnlyFans? I feel so empowered. There you go. There's a male mocking the whole feminist movement by saying that women wanted equality, we wanted equal work, equal pay, and then go straight into the fact that, oh, women wanted abortions, women wanted to be only fans. First of all, that's not the dig against women that you think it is. At the end of the day, lots of men wanted women to be able to have abortions too, of course. Men were performing those abortions and wanting their women to have abortions, especially married men. And um, so let's not pretend just women wanted abortions. And then the idea that women took their equality and became only fans. No, the only, the only difference is that before men were happily paying to see women 
naked or, you know, to have sex. All those things go to strip joints. And women were supposed to be ashamed and feel ashamed about it. Now, with equality, women are saying, well, hang on a second. If you men want to look, why do I have to be ashamed for showing myself? But it also doesn't mean that every single woman is on OnlyFans. I'm not on OnlyFans, but I'm not judging a woman that is on OnlyFans. Unless, of course, you want to judge me to judge every single male that created the whole OnlyFans movement and makes women rich. Women aren't getting rich off other women. They're getting rich off other men. So the hypocrisy that, oh, well, look, when women finally fought for equal rights, look, all they wanted was abortions and, um, you know, street only fans is just mocking and absolutely ridiculous and disgusting and really does show me a lot of what men are thinking about the feminist movement. We ask for equality, but men are known. Can you name any rights men have today that women don't? Any rights that men have that women do not? Any rights that men have that women do not? No. No. I so then what laws are feminists fighting for? Shit, that's a good one. Shit, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Oh, man, I don't even know. Agree with this guy if he said to somebody like me as a female, what rights do you not have as a female, legal rights as a female, um, that a man has that you don't have? And in Australia, at my age, he would be absolutely right. I would say nothing. But I'm not fighting a big feminist movement. I'm not out there fighting men for that. What, what I've started to come out and say is that I don't understand why these men are so upset and angry and disgusted that we got those rights. They seem very upset about it and very mocking and just really upset about the fact that we got those rights. And now I feel like women need to sort of fight against the fact that we shouldn't have to feel bad about being equal. We shouldn't have to feel bad about wanting things. If I say I'm a feminist who believes in equality, I should not be mocked as being a male hater or toxic to men. I just want to equality of females um, to men. But men, even if we've got laws and rights, not all men view women as equal. And that is something we are still fighting against. I think you only have to go on TikTok and listen to all the men mock feminism. You've seen some examples in this video and you'll see what we, what we are really still trying to argue against. So many men still just don't see women as equal in society. And that has to change, yes, that has to change.